Eloise Greenfield. Harriet Tubman didn't take no stock, wasn't scared of nothing either. Didn't come in this world to be no slave, and wasn't gonna stay one either. Farewell, she sang to her friends one night. She was mighty sad to leave them. So she ran away that dark, hot night, ran looking for her freedom. She ran to the woods, and she ran through the woods with the slave catches right behind her. And she kept on going till she got to the north where those mean men couldn't find her. Nineteen times she went back south to get three hundred others. She ran for her freedom nineteen times to save black sisters and brothers. All right. Harriet Tubman didn't take no stop, wasn't scared of nothing either. Right. Didn't come to this world to be no slave and didn't say one either. And didn't. world for every one of us. Right, they took a stand. They took a stand. Yeah. Got on the train and rode on the bus. Yeah. Everybody, Everybody took a stand.
precious name of Jesus Christ we come. Lord, we thank you for another privilege. We thank you for another honor. We thank you for another opportunity just to come to worship you and lift up your name. We say hallowed to your name. We glorify you. We magnify you. We bless your holy name. God, we thank you for who you are for what you do. We pray, Father God, that you continue to watch over us. Lord, we welcome you. We thank you for being all places at the same time. Now, Lord, we pray that you manifest yourself in this room. Lord, hide me behind Jesus, that he will stand and preach and teach your word, that old habits will be thrown away, old burdens will be rolled away, that we will be better at 1030 than we were at 830 that our lives will continue to roll on just a little while longer, that we will tell men, women, boys, and girls about the Jesus we serve. We thank you now for the blessings, and we thank you for the victory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and thank God. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise the name of Jesus. We serve the awesome and the amazing God. He has blessed us one more game. Just to raise our hand, he blessed us one more again. Just to say, Lord, I thank you. He has tremendously blessed us. In the Old Testament, I want to call your attention to the book of Esther. The book is Esther in the Old Testament. The book is Esther. The chapter is four. The verses are 13. Through 17. Esther chapter 4, verses 13 through 17. We serve the good God. We serve the amazing God. We serve the awesome God. Mm -hmm. There is nobody like our God. Amen. There is none like Him. The Old Testament, the book of Esther, chapter 4, verses 13 through 17. I'm reading from the New King James Version. And you found that you will discover these words. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther. Do not think in your heart that you will escape the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, 
relief and deliverance will arise from the Jews, for the Jews, from another place. But you in your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you will come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go gather all the Jews who are present in Shunah uh -huh. and fast for me, neither eat nor drink for three days, uh -huh. night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Yes, yes. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all Esther commanded him. Yes. I want to talk about trust God and live. Amen. Trust Amen. God Amen. and live. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. March 7, 1965. Approximately 600 march marchers made an attempt to cross the Etnipedis Bridge between Selma, Alabama and Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. They were marching because there were so many killings of African Americans. Mm -hmm. They were marching because they were denied the right to vote. And as this some 600 people began to march, as they began to leave Selma with the idea of going to Montgomery, Alabama, uh -huh. to march against the unequal rights of an evil governor, George Wallace himself, uh -huh. they were met with dogs. Mm. They were met with tear gas. Uh -huh. They were met with state troopers and they were met with highway patrolmen. Yeah. They were beaten. Yeah. Some of them were beaten to death. Some of them were beaten unconscious. Right. Right. They were led by a young man named John Lewis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And video and picture depicts that John Lewis was hit in the back of his head. Mm -hmm. He was not temporarily unconscious. But he came to the conclusion that some things are worth dying yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. in behalf of. Yeah. From that day forward, John Lewis became the radical mm -hmm. that would tell us even in the 21st century, if you see something, say something. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. If you see something that's wrong, do something. Yes, and here we have this slogan, living even as the man himself no longer lived, mm -hmm. if you see something, you ought to say something. Yes, sir. If you see something, you ought to do something. Mm -hmm. We find ourselves in the midst, even years later, with racism breeding upon us, mm -hmm. with discrimination all around us. I just want to remind our young people that it does not matter what color you are. Mm -hmm. You are precious in the sight of God. Amen. God has beautifully and wondrously made you. You are special to God, and because you are special to God, God will fight our battles. Yes, when we look at the media and we see that those who say that slavery was good for the United States of America, we find ourselves still marching and fighting even after the death of George Floyd. Yes, sir. Even after the death of Tamir Wright. Come on, yeah. Even after the death of Brianna Connors. Yeah. We still have the march. Uh -huh. I want to say to you today that we find ourselves in the book. We find ourselves just as one group of people known as the Jews See, that march in the fight was for liberation. Uh -huh. 
The march and the fight was for the sake of salvation. Yes, the march and the fight was for the sake of equal rights. But there will always be somebody that have come to the conclusion, regardless of who you are, you don't deserve to be equal to men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We find ourselves in the midst of a MAGA campaign yes, sir. where we want to make America great again. Uh -huh. I believe it's time that we do not stand by yes, sir. and watch the hands of time repeat itself. Yes, sir. We ought to, like Mordecai in the text, yes, sir. we ought to find somebody who has the ear of the king yes, and tell the king all about it. All right. Our king is Jesus, yes, the righteous lamb of God. Yes, let, me just, let me just say to you, when we look at the text, we find, first of all, a statement. Yeah, there's a statement. There's a statement. Haman had come to the point where because Mordecai didn't respect him, because Mordecai didn't bow down to him, yeah. Because Mordecai did not do what he thought Mordecai would do. That's right. He made a statement. Mm -hmm. And the statement that he made was to get rid of all the Jews. My, my, my. That March 7, 1965, they wanted to make a statement. Yes, sir. And the statement was to get rid of all people of African American descent. Mm -hmm. It is now known as Bloody Sunday. Yes, it was on a Sunday, a Bloody Sunday that they beat our kind, where they whipped us unconsciously. It was on a bloody Sunday where they beat men, women, boys, and girls, where they passed out in the street. Many of them died. It was bloody Sunday because the, the, the highway was spreaded with blood. I want to tell you this morning, somebody even in the 21st century is trying to make a statement. Yes, and they're trying to make a statement at your expense. Mm -hmm. Haman makes a statement. He says, he says, I tell you what, I want to make sure you understand that I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have Mordecai impaled on a pole. Yes, sir. His folk came. His, you know, everybody got a posse. Yes, sir. Everybody got somebody that can feed them junk. Everybody have cheerleaders. And you don't have to be right to have a cheerleader. You don't have to be winning to have a cheerleader. Everybody has a cheerleader, and your cheerleader will always sponsor a pep rally on your behalf. Yeah, Haman, Haman, had, Haman had cheerleaders that sponsored his pep rally, and his cheerleader said to him, tell you what you do. Go and convince the king. Yes, sir. To hang Mordecai on a pole. Yes, sir. Out in front of everybody to make a statement. Yeah, he looks to make a statement. And let me tell you, if you go to sleep today, if you don't stay alert today, statements will be made in this election. If you go to sleep today, you will go to sleep one night and it's like this. And you wake up the next day and it'll be the same old, same old. Everybody has cheerleaders, and the cheerleaders are trying to make a statement. Amen. My next point is right there in the text. There, right there in the text. Uh, the, the, the statement is: the statement is, we gonna kill the Jews. My next point is: there's a solution. Every pollution has a solution. All right. Every depression has a solution. Every time you're at close quarters and, and you don't know which way to turn, God has a solution for you, and God can bless you real good and he's been a plenty. Yes, Look at the text. The text that says, declares in verse number 13, you know, Esther has already said that I don't have permission to go before the king. No, no. Because if I go before the king without the king calling me, then I could die at the hands of the king. Yes, sir. And he says, Mordecai says to her, let me tell you something, Esther. There's a solution, and you seem to be the solution. Yes, sir. He says to her, he says to her, don't you think in your heart? Don't you even reason in your head that just because you're the queen, you got it made? Don't you come to the conclusion just because you reside in the king palace that you got it going on? Let me just say to you today, just because you got it rolling like you want to roll it right now, doesn't mean you got it going on. 
just because you dress the way you want to dress doesn't mean you got it going on. I stand today to remind you that I stand on the shoulder of many that have come before me. I stand on the shoulder of those who have bled, died, who were killed, who were not unconscious, just so I can stand here today. And one man decided I'm gonna be a self-made man. I, and if I can't be a self-made man, I'm gonna be self-made or nothing at all. He turned out to be both. A self-made nothing man, nothing at all. Let me tell you, we stand, mama, we stand on your shoulders this morning. Daddy, we stand on your shoulders this morning. Big mama, big daddy, we stand on your shoulders this morning. We stand on the shoulders of those who have taken a beating just for us. I oftentimes tell our young people things hadn't always been like this. It, it didn't happen like this overnight. It's, if people gave their lives for this, people bled and died for this. Just because you can walk in the front door doesn't mean we always were able to walk in the front door. Just because you see us driving the bus, we've not always been able to drive the bus. Matter of fact, Rosa Park was here, she'll tell you that I was sitting in my seat. My feet were tired. Are closed and, and they look forward to making money instead of transforming this great nation in which we live. But there's a solution. There is somebody somewhere who has the ear of the king and if because they have the ear of the king, they can speak and the king can make things happen. Mordecai says, Esther, you have the ear of the king. And don't you think, don't you get it in your mind, don't you get it in your heart just because you reside next to the king, just because you have a, a building outside the palace, just because you have a place in the palace that you got it going on. He says, don't you think in your heart that you will escape from the king's palace and be better off than any of us? You know, we can get a dime over a dollar. And we think we really got it going. We can drive what we want to drive. And we, we look down on other folk. But the same folk you meet on your way up the ladder, you're going to meet the same folk coming down the ladder. It, it is not something that we ought to do simply because we understand that if I'm oppressed, it's just a matter of time before you get oppressed. Yes, sir. Yes. That's why Dr. King, Dr. King said to, to those who were, were not African American. This thing will not change until those of you who are not Negroes come and march with us. And then white people died so we can have the freedom to vote. White people died and they marched with us and, and therefore we have to make sure we understand that there are other folk that have given their lives just for you. There's a solution. Monica says, Esther, there's a solution. And you need to understand, Esther, uh, you need to take a stand. Yes, sir. My next point is there need to be a stand. You got to take a stand. You just can't do business as usual. You just can't walk around just because you got it going on. You just can't walk it around and talk about, oh, I used to be down and out, but I'm no longer down and out. And we need to cut that stuff out. When As long as I'm riding the bus, you my friend. As long as I'm having to ask you for a dollar, you're my friend. But the moment I get a job with benefits, yes, then you think you something. Let me tell you, sisters and brothers, when they come to you, your friends come to you and make the statement, you think you're something, that's not a compliment. What they're saying is, I liked you better when you were thumbing a ride. I liked you better when you were doing the things that you needed help. I liked you better when you were on welfare. Now you're off welfare. Now you got your own ride. Now you live and you move on up. You just come up to, to par. And now they say that you think you got it going on and everybody can't do it. Let me just tell you, when you hear everybody can't do it, you tell them, no, you can't. But when you walk with the Lord, yes, when, when, you, when you totally submit unto him, when you do it God's way, God is able to bless you and keep you. He's able to keep our mind. Let me tell you, we are here today not because we're so smart. We are here today not because we got degrees. We are here today not because we do our health training and, and we are able to do our training. And you may look like a Coca-Cola bottle right now, but you getting ready to leave here soon and very soon. 
I mean, your mind may be quick. You may be sharp. You may be able to make things happen at the drop of hats. You may be well connected in this city, this state, and this nation, but sooner or later, they gonna cut the string. See, we gotta stop depending on men pulling strings for us because men pull strings and strings can be cut. We ought to look to God because God opened doors that no man can open. God opened windows and he poured out a blessing that we don't have room enough to receive. So the solution today is to take a stand. If you see something wrong, deal with it. Too often we run. Too often we move over. Too often we march for just a moment and they know you're going to march for a moment because you did it last time. Two weeks, three weeks, and you got to go back to work. <laughs> Two weeks, three weeks, and then there's a hush. Mm -hmm. Two weeks, three weeks, and then we've forgotten about what happened. What happened? But we have to stay with the Lord. And we have to take a stand for the Lord. Not only do we have to take a stand, we have to take a stand for righteousness, righteousness, even though the authorities around us say don't do it. I'm telling, I tell our young people all the time, if the police pulls you over, it's yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. Right, sir. Right. Both hands on the steering wheel. I used to tell them both hands on the steering wheel. A pastor now I tell them stick their hands out the window. Out the window. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and don't argue, don't perform your court case on the side of the road. Don't, don't get into a squabble on the side of the road. Make sure you keep your hands where they can see you. Turn your dome lights on where they can see you. Make sure that you clean and clear. And if they still do crazy things, make sure you have done what is right. That's right. Amen. Because they're looking for a way to annihilate you. They're looking for a way to turn you out from, to turn your life from a flicker, turn your life from a flame to a decreased, null, and void person. Yeah. Well, well Mel Mar Mordecai says, not only should we understand the statement, not only do we realize that there is a solution, we also need to know that there is salvation. Yeah, there, there, there's a statement that is made, and the statement is, I'm after you. <laughs> Jesus says to Peter, Peter, the devil has asked for you, yes, sir. and the devil wants to sift you like sifting wheat. That's how we have to remind our children, children, just listen for a moment. Uh -huh. Just be still for a moment. Just understand, we didn't get all great and bald by being fools. There is some knowledge we still have. And I know we're old fogey. I know we really don't know what we're talking about. I know internet wasn't in when I was your age. But let me tell you, we made it without internet. Yes, sir. I, 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 I always observe the fact that mama has the same phone number yes. since 50 years ago. You got a sister. Mama has the same phone number that she had 50 years ago. And then we had party lines. And they weren't, they weren't crowded because if your phone ring, 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 the other person knows not to pick it up. If your phone ring, ring, then the other person knows to pick it up. But let me just share with you, there are young people who change their phone, and I got folk right here in my phone right now, that I have to put dates on their phone number. Let me just call it, <laughs> you have to put dates on their phone number. Well, 2022, that was at, at June the 5th, 2022, it was this phone number. June the 5th, 2025, it was this phone number. June the 5th, 2020, it was this phone number. So I just have to go down until I find the last date so I know I'm calling the right phone number. <laughs> Big Mama didn't have a third grade education, but she never lost a house. She, she never lost a car. She never got put out on the street. 
big mama didn't have a third grade education, but she was able to feed all 14 grandchildren. She was able to knead the dough. I'm telling you, we're standing on other folks' shoulders, and as we stand on their shoulders, we have to appreciate what they have already gone through because they've gone through hard times. I always say, young feet, young people, I made more money today than my parents have made in their whole lifetime. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And I ought to be able to keep a car. I, I ought to be able to keep my house up. I ought to be able to act right so I don't get evicted. And it's just because the solution is that God keep us and God blesses us. The Bonner Report says when we left home today and we left our communities, 80% of the people stayed in their houses and they're not going to church, they're not going to a synagogue, they're not going to a mosque anywhere. What that says is if you live in an apartment complex, 80% of that entire apartment complex is sleeping in while we're having church. Let me tell you, if you live in a community, it says 80% of the folk in your community, uh, they are staying in today because this is the only day they have to rest. And they get it so twisted that they need to rest on the Sabbath. That tells me you should have rest yesterday. But this is the Lord's day. And we ought to get up with the Lord and give our all to him and thank him. Because the Lord's day is the first day of the week. Jesus got up on the first day of the week. And when he got up on the first day of the week, the Bible says they ran and they rejoiced and they blessed the name of the Lord. Yes, yeah, so while, you, while you're watching football, baseball, while you're going to volleyball and soccer, you ought to be resting because it's the Sabbath. It's the last day. And that ought to be the only day you have the rest. Yes, sir. You, you need to make sure that you can cancel, you can cancel your gym membership. Because when you go to church on Sunday, you ought to get enough exercise for the whole entire week. When you, when you go to church on Sunday, you ought, to, you ought to be able to put stuff aside to, to celebrate the awesome God that we serve. If you go to church on Sunday, you ought not be so pious and stuck up on yourself until you can't give God the glory. Because after all, God is the one who keeps us. He's the one who blesses us. We can't keep our own mind. He kept us this morning. Salvation, I see it in the text. Salvation in the text. Esther comes to the conclusion. Well, cut Malachi, Malachi, cut Mordecai, since you put it like that. Okay. I'm gonna go and meet the king. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says, she says, what you do is call for a fast among all the Jews. Uh -huh. And when you call for a fast, there should be no food or drink taken in for three days. It lost half of us right there. Yes, sir. No, 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 no food, no water, no soda. For, for three whole days, no eating, you're focusing on God. You're focusing on prayer. And as we move into our prayer time next month, we need to make sure that we focus our time on God. And whenever we get a headache, we call on the Lord like we never called on him before because we're saying to God as we fast, God, I want you more than I want steak. God, I want you more than I want beef. Lord, I want you more than I want a soda. God, I want all of you. I want to experience you in a mighty way. So Esther says, call for a fast. And when you call for a fast, tell them don't eat. Tell them don't drink. Just make sure they call on the Lord because I'm going before the king. Yes, sir. My, my, my subject is trust God and live. The God that we serve is able to keep us alive. You see, salvation is not just being saved from our sin. Salvation is being delivered from the trouble we're in. Yes, and here, Monica says to Esther, he said, now if you choose not to do it, if you want your history to be written that you chose not to do it, God can bring somebody and he will raise somebody up that's not on the scene right now. I know, I know, I know, I know Esther remember Vasti. Yeah. And she remembered what happened to Vasti. Yeah. And all of a sudden she began to think about Vesta. And she said, now Vesta got moved out of here. That's why I got moved in here. And she didn't want to become like Vesta. So she went before the king and she said, I'm going before the king. And if I perish, I perish. Yes, sir. 
but I'm going before the king. That's the position we must take. We must take the stand. We must be the solution. We must understand the statement, and we must become a part of the salvatic experience that God is taking us through. Oh yeah, God has a ram for you. God has somebody who can bless you. God has somebody who can lead you. And what if God chooses to get you to make it happen? We got too many children on the street. God wants to use you. We got too many people dying and going to hell. God wants to use you. We have too many people cussing out the mama and the grandmama and the granddad. God wants to use you. We have too many divorced even in the church. God wants to use you. It's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to stand up. It's time for us to make a difference. That's what Jesus did over 2,000 years ago. My Lord and your God. Mean men killed him, I tell you. They took him up to God off the field. They, they took him up to Skull Hill called Calvary. He gave his life for you, and he gave his life for me. He was making a statement, he was. He was giving a solution, I tell you. He was taking a stand, and he became our salvation. God's only begotten son, the righteous son of God, Jesus the Christ himself. God's only unique son, the one who gave his life for it. He gave his voluntary life on a Skull Hill called Calvary. They nailed him tight, and they ribbed him in his side. They raised him up. They stretched him wide. Oh, yes, they did. They killed my God and your God. On Calvary, he died. They took him off the cross, made him in a barber tomb. It was a barber tomb, I tell you. It was a barber tomb. He stayed there. But out of that third day morning, he rose with all power and had it left in his hand. He got up every day. He rose, I tell you. That same Jesus. He got out of here. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father, creating solutions for us. That same Jesus gonna catch a cloud one day. He's gonna ride back in here. And at the trump of God, at the trump of God, at the voice of the dark of the angel, he will crack the sky. Oh, yeah. And the dead in Christ shall rise, shall rise first. If I don't see you no more. If I don't make it round the corner, it's all right. Because one of these old days, I'm going to join the King of Kings, the one on the other side. I'm going to have his ear. I'm going to join the King of Kings. I'm going to join the four beastly creatures. Kind of holy, holy, holy. Blessed is the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of heaven. Thank God for Jesus. I said, I thank God for Jesus. He is Big Mama's walking tank. He is Granddaddy's leaning pole. He is the bridge over trouble water. Thank God for Jesus. He's a horse boy in the valley. He's a light bright morning star. Thank God for Jesus. His name is Jesus, the Son of God. He's coming back church to get a church without a spot and without a ring. I'm on my way to the other side. And if I don't see you anymore, it's all right. I'm going to have a brand new body. No more headaches. No more belly aches. No more backstabbing. No more lying. Over there, every day going to be Sunday. The sorrow will have no use for that. The city will be lit up by the Son of God. And I'm going to cry, holy, holy, holy. Nothing is a man that was slain before the foundation of it. Right. 